Question one. Craig, you experiment with various SEO tactics, always looking for different ways out. Can CTR manipulation be considered a low-hanging way to boost traffic? Um, the answer would be yes and no. Now, the reason I'm going to say yes, if, for example, I'm on page five, if I was to do CTR, I will see an increased um, ranking very quickly. The problem with that is when you switch off the click-through rate or the traffic, your ranking slump back down. Now, <coughs> where CTR works really well um, is if you're in the top, you know, you get to, the, to page one, and you start to stick in, say, position six, for example, for me, it's no longer a case of further optimising your content or building more links or anything like that. It comes down to the click-through rate and engagement. So you've done enough on-page to get to page one. You've done enough link building to get to page one, and it's that click-through rate and engagement that would then slot you into the top three positions. Now... If you do that over the period of a month, for example, I believe that when you get up into position one, <coughs> organically, you're going to get more of the clicks anyway, which in turn means that when you do switch off the paid traffic or whatever you're doing to manipulate the traffic, you don't see the dip because organically you're getting all that click-through rate and engagement naturally anyway. So... That's why I think you've got to wait until you're on page one and make sure that you've got the best on page and the best link building and everything else that you can do in terms of optimizing your website and then you would do CTR. So I wouldn't consider it a good way to get some low hanging fruit unless you want to pay on a regular ongoing basis um, and you know potentially have bad on page and stuff like that. So. That's the answer to question one. Question two, if CTR manipulation gives a rapid traffic boost, how fast should you be ready to see link, uh, ranking losses? What can you do to keep those rankings sustainable? So pretty much what I said in page one is do all your on page, do all your link building, and then do your CTR manipulation. That way, when you do get into the top slot, that organic traffic, is going to keep your ranking sustainable and um, so don't just solely rely on the traffic and engagement because if you've got a low amount of backlinks low um you know poor on page then you are going to see a very quick dip in your rankings question three what markets can thrive on ctr manipulation pretty much any market in my opinion you can use ctr manipulation People do it in the gambling industry. People do people do it in every industry. People are even using CTR manipulation when it comes to ranking your Google My Business listing. So be under no illusion, CTR manipulation can work in any niche. It can also work in YouTube. It can work, you know, on all, clearly on your organic pages. It can work on podcasts. Um, Click through rate and engagement is something that will help you rank anywhere at all. So make sure that you look at that and make sure you add it to your campaigns. Question four, let's say I run a small dental clinic. I have 50 reviews and a four star rating. While my competitors have two reviews, the same rating, but rank higher. Obviously I have higher user engagement. So what's the reason? Now, who says you have high engagement? If you did have high engagement, you would be ranking above your competitors. Now, the only two things that work on a GMB are your citations and your click-through rate and engagement. They don't care about reviews. There's plenty of examples where the guy with two reviews outranks the guy with 50 reviews. It comes down to how well set up your GMB is alongside the click-through rate and engagement. Now, 
what kind of engagement works for GMBs? I personally use local ones. So, you know, I would use the likes of local Facebook ads, targeting people within the proximity. I would also use the Gumtree local, um, you know, advertising places. You can use any directories, local business directories. You can also use, if you've got your email marketing list segmented or you are a local business, use your email marketing list to drive people to your GMB. Any kind of local traffic is going to help a GMB. Um, so make sure that you try and get local traffic. You can use Gumtree, Viva Street, Facebook ads, anything you can do to force local traffic, including organic social media, email marketing lists or anything, is going to give a positive ranking signal to your GMBs. Do make sure though that you've got your citations in order and you've got your name and name address and postcode as consistent as you can across all of your citations. Question five. Speaking of CTR manipulation, you've mentioned such options as microworkers and clickbots. Can human behavior imitation substitute real traffic? Is it worth your hard earned money? So micro workers are real people in their house earning money. So those are real people, real traffic, and of course that can work. Um, in terms of click bots, click bots, many people will tell you don't work or they're not as effective as they used to be. And that's because Google are now aware of their IP address range and they, they don't mimic human behavior. Now, the click bots that do work, it's not that the tools are bad, it's the proxies that you use. And that present, residential proxies or mobile proxies work a hell of a lot better. So that stuff can still work very well. It's basically down to the proxies that you use. Question six, I care about the accuracy of my business statistics. Should I bring in to play bots and micro workers? I mean, that that's, it's a hard question to answer. Like, accuracy of your business statistics, you know, if you're going to introduce bots and micro workers and everything else, it is going to skew that data. So, if you care about the accuracy of your business statistics, you don't have to use this tactic. You just simply won't rank as well as the competition. So, you've got to weigh up what's more important getting the best rankings you can or caring about your business statistics and most people will want higher rankings and more money more traffic more leads and more sales so you need to weigh up the option that is best for you i don't want to force ctr down anyone's throat but ctr and, and engagement is pretty much a very very well weighted google ranking factor so I would forget about business statistics and focus on leads and revenue. Seven, Google can easily find the footprints of famous bots, but you slightly mentioned that they could work well if the right technology is used behind them. What do you mean and do you have any examples that worked out well? So in terms of an example that worked out well, if you go to YouTube and put in, does CTR really work? I have a live example I of this working well I was trying because on this video, um, which I will share with you. But uh, I put that on the reply. That is a real life case study. Um, so that was for the term click-through rate manipulation so you can have a watch at that and extract any data from that um, but what i said previously <coughs> was it was all about trying to mix up bots and real traffic now in that particular video i used my mailing list i used facebook ads and there was some bots and micro workers involved now that's the right mix of 
click-through rate and engagement that's not going to leave a massive footprint because primarily everything was real traffic. I was just working smart. So, um, so there you go. So you can watch that video and take from that what you need. Question eight, if click imitations seem to have zilch effect, what other ways to beef up click-through rate that you can go for? Any source of real traffic, as I say, whether you use appearing on podcasts, appearing on webinars, whether you drive traffic through someone else's YouTube channel, whether you use paid Facebook ads, paid Quora ads, advertise on directories, whatever you can do to get good quality relevant traffic where people are not just going to bounce back off your website, you can go for it. It doesn't have to be click imitations. It can be real traffic such as Facebook ads, Quora ads and anywhere else where you can get people to come to your website um, so rel you know on relevant websites so that is you know the, the perfect way to do it but people do also use bots and whatnot which accelerate the process a little bit and um, so there you go can anything go awry do you have any missteps in your practice that you want to forewarn about not when it comes to click through rate manipulation there's nothing that can really go wrong unless you were going to simply you know use a bot that that, that, that google knew the ip addresses of and everything else then it's just not going to be effective but there's no missteps or anything even if you use micro workers even if you use paid facebook ads even if you use your mailing list you're not doing anything that no one else can do it's it's not something that google can penalize you know the 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 thing here the key thing for the whole process is getting real quality relevant traffic not just traffic relevant traffic people that might be interested in what you've got to say. Now, if you're going to just go out there and put your ads out to any old person that may or may not be interested in what you've got, then of course it's not going to be as effective. But with the likes of Facebook ads or anything else, you can get targeted traffic through the demographics and the interests and everything else um, that you can use. You can also use your Facebook Pixel to target people who've been in your website um, and you know as I say mailing list or getting on good quality relevant webinars podcasts or anything else that is what you need to do to drive real traffic so no real danger it's just how effective is it going to be and obviously you want that traffic to be engaged watch your videos watch your page click on there engage with your stuff and that's why the only way that's going to work is getting relevant people question 10 being in digital marketing for 18 years you literally witnessed the rise of seo what keeps you upbeat at work for so many years um so i have went from being a freelancer probably spent four or five years not really understanding what i was doing i then went on to build an agency which i ran for around 10 years well, maybe about eight or nine years and uh, that was hard work and uh, I became a bit disillusioned with how much money I could earn but I pivoted more into affiliate marketing and training and you know I literally do love SEO, I love automation, I love tools, I love you know just the whole I love the community, I love everything. So I, I would say I'm fairly obsessed with SEO itself and that helps, uh, but also making money or problem solving um, and you know taking a website from A to B and making decent money is what keeps me upbeat. And uh, I think you know the agency side of my business when I was doing that, it was boring. It was a lot of reporting, a lot of client calls, a lot of not SEO if you like and I think what where I've kind of rejuvenated myself and stuff is now that I'm doing affiliate marketing training and stuff like that I don't have client reporting I don't have 
endless amounts of phone calls and you know client education and all of that stuff and i'm actually enjoying it so i can play with new tools talk to new people you know travel the world and all of that stuff and uh, and enjoy it and uh, whilst making money and that's what keeps me upbeat but i'm the type of guy who actually enjoys seo which is kind of uh strange if you like but if you've got a passion for something i think that that keeps you upbeat to a certain degree but as long as you're enjoying work you know i don't wake up in a monday morning going oh i've got work again so um so that keeps me upbeat and uh, yeah seo has changed massively over the time i've been in it you know from the the days where you literally had to do nothing but you know change a title tag and put on crappy bits of content and you ranked you know with some link you know a directory links to what we have now so it's evolved massively things have changed the goalposts have moved um you know and but a lot of the core fundamentals are the same content links and and obviously other things like ctr and uh, everything else come into play now but it's it, it's ever changing which also keeps you on your toes which is what we all like so that is what keeps me upbeat and hopefully this turns into a decent blog post. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Um, if you need anything else, let me know. Mm -hmm.